reason we created Daily in the Word was for us all to know God better through reading His Word together. And while there are many interesting theories and opinions regarding the timeline of Ezekiel 39, the countries involved, and the meaning behind the vision, today I want us to focus on what it tells us about the heart, mind, and nature of who God is. Number one, God has enemies. Yes, it's possible to be an enemy of God. In verse 1, God identifies Gog as his enemy, and in Romans 5, Paul tells us that we were enemies of God, but Christ died for us to reconcile us to him. Number two, God is sovereign, meaning everything he does is righteous. Even his anger and wrath is righteous, and in his sovereignty, we must reconcile to his definition of love, righteousness, as well as his definition of sin. Psalm 145 says, The Lord is righteous in all his ways and faithful in all he does. And number three, God punishes sin. In this chapter, we see that no one, not even God's own people, escape the punishment for sin. Romans 6 says that the wages of sin is death, but it also says the gift of God is eternal life. And here's that gift in number four. God is love. Yes, we were God's enemies. Yes, he punishes sin, but Romans 5 goes on to say that we can be reconciled to God through the death of his son, Jesus, and we are saved by his life. Jesus took our punishment and paid that debt. And finally, number five, God is the only one worthy of our worship. Verse seven of this chapter tells us the purpose for everything that has happened in this chapter, in the Bible, and in life. In this way, I will make known my holy name among my people of Israel. I will not let anyone bring shame on it, and the nations too will know that I am the Lord, the Holy One of Israel. 